Hey guys, welcome back to the shop today. Today we take a look at a plasma cutter that I just picked up and uh, like everything else I own and buy, it doesn't work. So let's see what we can do with this old part. So a buddy of mine uh, at his work, they have uh, they had a, this plasma cutter, and uh, they said they had some problems with the uh, with the torch. Didn't always want to fire up. Air seems to be going through it, but it doesn't want to seem to fire off. I was doing some testing here. I was going to see if I could at least get it going to some degree on a piece of quarter inch here, but she just didn't want to go. However, this is a Hypotherm Power Max 380. This is an older unit, but. Uh, I mean, hypertherm's a good name. So, I mean, there's probably parts available, and if not, I can make something work. Uh, I do plan on using this for my CNC. Um, now, a smart guy would go out and buy one. Uh, I know Everlast and uh, even the cheap Prime Weld plasma cutters are uh, CNC ready. They have a plug in the back of them that you just hook up your CNC and go. Um, I plan on doing something similar to this. W will it all work? I don't know. Um, I have actually never played with plasma torches before. I've definitely never opened one up. So it'll be interesting to see what I can make work here. Now, like I said, the torch lead seemed to have a problem. Everything seems to be good in the, in the torch, but I have a sneaking suspicion that this is not factory. So I'm thinking there's something wrong in there. Uh, but, uh, cause like I said, there's, there's air going through it. It wants to fire up. You hear it spark once or twice, but she just doesn't want to keep an arc going. So uh, now this lead is actually incredibly long for what it is. Like it, uh, let's see if we can show you how long this thing is. Like this is a good, this is a solid, I don't know, 15, 15 feet, 20 feet ish, probably almost 20 feet. So, I mean, if I take this 18 inches or so and cut it right there, try to bypass this, uh, this issue right here, or at least I'm assuming that's the issue, remount the torch down there, I'm actually not losing a lot of, uh, a lot of length on the torch lead. So, uh, that might be where I go with this. I'm not going to spend too much time uh, trying to make this thing CNC ready if I can't get this thing to work. I mean, I got it cheap enough, so I mean, if I can at least get it going, uh, I might just, uh, if I can't use it for my CNC, I'm actually just going to give it back to the guy I purchased it from because uh, he's a good friend of mine. And if it's not going to work for my CNC, I don't need it. And uh, the best part about having friends that you know have tools you don't have, you can borrow them. So, anywho, I'm going to see if I can pull that torch apart. Again, I've never done this with a plasma cutter, plasma cutter so I don't know exactly what I'm getting into. But it can't be, can't be that hard, can it? Let's try it out. I'm gonna pull that torch apart. I'm gonna see how that switch is all hooked up and stuff like that and how the lines are ran into the torch. And if it looks simple enough, I'm gonna cut that lead and I'm gonna rewire that, uh, that torch end onto my shortened lead and we'll try it out again. So uh, let's pull this apart and see what we can come up with. So we pulled the torch apart and uh, nothing looks weird in there. Everything looks to be in good shape. I pulled apart the uh, part, uh, the piece that looked like it was patched. Uh, whoever did that electrical tape job, 
did a great job. I want to party with him. But uh, anyway, they look pretty haggard. Um, they've seen some heat. Some of these wires have some holes in them. Like, I'm sure that is where our issue is. And like I said before, it's only like 18 inches or so. 18 inches or so down. So I'm going to strip this coating back and uh, basically see what wires go where. And I'm going to cut it down here. And then I'm going to uh, recrimp and solder uh, the wires together and see if that gets us past that problem. Um, I'm not worried about losing that little bit of line. Like I said, the lead is extremely long. So, I mean, I don't think I'll worry about it either way as long as my wiring goes okay. We should be in good shape. So, I'm going to strip that back and we'll, uh, we'll crimp that thing all up, solder it all up. And uh, we'll see if that fixes this guy up for us. Okay, so uh, I lost a bunch of footage. Uh, apparently I didn't hit record, but uh, just imagine a guy struggling soldering a bunch of wires with a guy who really doesn't know what he's doing, and you'll get the idea. But uh, anywho, I got this uh, the torch all back together. We shortened the lead and got rid of that chunk, like I said. Uh, so now we're gonna test this guy. Um, I had to take a little break. I had to help my kid pull the motor out of her little four-wheeler. It's now sitting over pretty here. We're gonna have to dig into that guy and see what's wrong with that. I think it's getting some gasoline in the oil. She really wants to drive that thing. So I had to take a break to do that. But uh, I'm gonna set this thing up and I'm gonna see if this uh, plasma cutter works and uh, we'll see if it's worth hanging on to. So uh, yeah, I'll set the camera up and uh, this will be my first time using a plasma cutter. So let's see if we can make some sparks. Okay, so I tried uh, I tried cutting a quarter inch with it. It would not go. It just did not like that. Uh, this machine only goes up to 27 amps, so I'm pretty sure that's not enough to even cut quarter inch, even if I wanted to. Maybe it is. I don't know. A uh, quick Google on the internet machine will tell me what uh, what I need to do there. But I did grab another piece here. This is fairly thin compared to the quarter inch. This is like one eighth thick. Like it's it's thin. Like it's it's very thin stuff. But uh, the cut wasn't too bad. If I can get this to focus. Come on. Focus. Um, anyway, it wasn't terrible. Um, I was shaky because I didn't have a guide or anything. I was just going at it. Cuts that, no problem. And I was cutting that at like uh, 15, 16 amps. So I will uh, try digging through my scrap pile and get some thicker stuff and try that out. But... Uh, yeah, don't throw away old plasma cutters, especially if it's just a lead. Uh, one man's garbage is another man's ungarbage. So uh, we got that fixed up. That thing works. It will be a little small for what my end game is for this machine. Um, there are some bigger units out there that I still would like to purchase at some point. But again, I got this thing cheap. Uh, so, I mean, I might get this thing going and using it on my CNC uh, just to get some experience under my belt and to know what I'm doing for the next one that comes through the door. Uh, don't know what I'll do. A lot of my project requires stuff a lot thicker than this. I would like to be able to cut three eighths at the minimum, but, uh, I think I could do some like thin sheet metal signs and stuff like that, uh, with this plasma cutter. So there's options. There's got to broaden my thought pattern there with what I can all do with the machine. But, uh, yes, yeah, so we fixed that up. Works great. Uh, thanks for stopping by guys. I really appreciate you guys watching. Um, thanks for subscribing. And if you haven't, please do. Um, let me know what you liked and didn't like about the, about my videos. Uh, the only way I get better is by hearing what you guys have to say about me. So, I mean, let me know, uh, be nice. Come on, be nice. Anyways, but let me know. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping by and we'll see you on the next one.